Here at Ignite Social Media, we have our own little meme called Taken Out of Context. The way I get content for it is by taking things people say around the office, which are otherwise normal, but when taken out of context, sound a little funny. Oh, this is a really nice design. I know, isn't it huge? Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. The client kept me up all night long. I'm having trouble on this project. I think we need to bring in more people. Just so you know, it gets more expensive when three people are working on it. It's my new favorite hobby. It's going to be difficult, but I hope to catch everyone in an awkward position. Hi, I'm Caroline. And I'm Craig. And you're watching Topics That Are Igniting, a weekly show where we discuss a few social media marketing stories you may have missed. This week's topics include ads, candy bars, journalists, and China. Oh. Hey, Caroline. Would you ever advertise for a brand online? I don't know. I think I would feel uncomfortable. I'll pay you. Now we're talking. Power Voice, a new social media marketing company, launched last week. The service, similar to Adly, compensates users for sharing brands' messages on social networks. Unlike Adly, it's not focused solely on celebrities and other public figures. Instead, anyone can sign up to get paid to promote brands. The company has been operating a private beta since Thanksgiving, and now has a network of a couple thousand users. Very interesting. That reminds me of a British celebrity who was paid to tweet. Tell me more about it, Gubna! Snickers hired British reality TV star Katie Price to promote their brand through Twitter, an advertising stunt that made her followers momentarily think that her account had been hacked. Price tweeted about the Eurozone debt problem and China's GDP rating, two topics uncharacteristic from her usual tweets. She then tweeted the Snickers tagline, you're not you when you're hungry, at Snickers UK, and posted a picture of her holding a Snickers bar. Despite the clever campaign, Price and Snickers are currently being investigated by the British Advertising Standards Authority. The authority is looking into whether they violated UK advertising rules about not being clear about their messaging. It must have been odd to see a British reality star tweet about news. Yeah. You know, speaking of news, journalists on Facebook have been getting a lot more subscribers lately. Well, in that case, I am definitely subscribing to Anderson Cooper. Me too. He's dreamy. Last week, Facebook posted an update on how journalists are using the subscribe button. The note revealed the results of a study of 25 journalists and revealed the average journalist has seen a 320% increase in subscribers since last November. Some of the journalists included CNN's Don Lemon, with over 144,000 subscribers, and Nicholas Kristof of the New York Times, who has over 300,000. In addition to being a bit of self-promotion by Facebook, this data reveals how the social network is trying to take away from Twitter's reputation as a place where news is broken. Very interesting. That reminds me, there's a lot of social media coming from Asia these days. You've been to China, right? I have. Can you teach me some Mandarin? Ting Budong. I, I don't understand. Very good. Thanks. In order to increase consumer awareness about their flight services to Sweden and throughout Asia, Air China launched a campaign around Facebook check-ins. The airline partnered with various Asian restaurants throughout Stockholm to act as ambassadors. At the restaurants, people were encouraged to check in with Air China on Facebook. The Facebook page showed everyone who had checked in each week, and the person who got the most votes won two tickets to Asia. It's interesting to note that the airline is state-owned, and Facebook is one of the websites currently blocked by the Chinese government. Well, that's it for today. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And if you're curious to learn more about any of this week's topics, you can find links in the description. And if you're watching this video from our blog, just scroll down for more info. Until next time, I'm Caroline. And I'm Craig with Ignite Social Media.